Well, hello everyone. This is an elaboration on the patch that I had running in the previous video. But I got rid of all the noisy things down here with Electron and Conduit. And I just have rings, a five note sequence from the Penta. <coughs> and it's all being clocked with the CLX. The A clock is running slow and the B clock is running much faster. And uh, the output from A is just triggering T kick. You can hear it, it's kind of subtle, but it's kind of regular slow thump. Um, the output of B is going into the bottom half of branches where one output is clocking the CLX and rings will automatically pluck when the volt per octave voltage changes it detects a new note so it plays that we're in the same mode as before it is two note polyphony so two notes will ring at a time it's in the third mode, the uh, Carpla Strong String Mode. And uh, Hypster is modulating the damping, which controls how long a note will sustain. Uh, let's see, the AND, which is a you know, logical AND combination of these two clocks, I am sending to this branch and uh, one half, because it's distributing those beats randomly, about 50-50 the way I have the knob set. And so one of them is triggering snare, which I have set so it's it's giving those kind of dry little like laser zaps. And uh, the pitch of that, see, because snare has a volts per octave input, the pitch of that is being modulated by uh, the Penta. So all of the volts per octave, it's all sharing that same five note sequence. The other branch from the AND output is going into divide and conquer. And I'm using a bunch of divisions. Um, divide by three is triggering hat. sort of subtle. I am using a couple of divisions to trigger descent, which is applying a decay to the left and right channels of the Hikari Monos. So you can hear it kind of like switching from side to side. And uh, the filter frequency is being controlled by that sequence. I'm also gating uh, the send of the sound from the monos to the dub delay, which is just in front of the reverb from the DSP. So my effect mix is going through that delay to, and the, the effect that it's having is sort of just deepening the reverb. It doesn't sound like a delay. And then I'm sending a positive U from the hypster into the top of 2HP switch. And I'm using another hypster voltage negative Z to control the switch. And then that output is modulating the time of the dub delay. So you get that, that weird pitch bending in the background but only sometimes when that signal is selected on the switch then it goes through I've got life forms also playing tuned to match the pitch of rings an octave lower and it's envelope being triggered by the one half division of divide and conquer and 
splats is in chord mode. And it is also being triggered by, uh, let's see, divide by five is triggering splats. And it's getting the same pitch CV as everything else. So now I'm gonna set the camera down, turn down my mic, and turn up the patch and let's listen. say I think that turned out really nice one of my better uh, procedural patches or what do they call it generative it's generative music when you set it up and the synth place itself anyway <clears throat> there you go I thought this one turned out I could sit and listen to that for a long time Thanks, as always, to my patrons. They financed all of this crazy stuff. And I'm having a blast. Hope you guys are enjoying it, too. I thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.